Landslides, water turmoil and land hemorrhage, hollowing our stable land and carriages. Landslides, water disturbance and land hemorrhage, they are just creating an empty hole in our stable land and carriages, slipping, slinking and draining bases, garbage is draining under the land so it will it is it leads to destruction of the nature it is destroying our nature damaging our nature and destructing the nature in worst to worst cases so all these are the causes that leads to destruction landslides water turmoil land hemorrhage garbage drainage under the gland uh, flood, famine, starvation, earthquake, hurricane, all these are the reasons that leads to destruction of the nature. So, global warming, as you all know, global warming rising high, placing earth in careless tie, tying, denying the factual crashes, forgetting nature's bounty leading to ashes. So, in the last global warming, lot of gases are released into the air because of auto automobiles lot of uh, um, gases are released into the atmosphere which is because of that our nature is not clean we are not able to get the fresh oxygen fresh air as lot of chemicals are there in the atmosphere and because of that global warming is rising high placing earth in careless tie obviously you if global warming is going to rise earth is in a very bad situation we because as i told you earlier we are living on earth because of air water and land and if the air which we breathe which is you very important for human beings if that air gets polluted because of this global warming how will this how the life is how the life is going to be possible on the earth right so tying denying the factual crashes forgetting nature's bounty leading to ashes so all these factors destroy the nature leading the valuable things to ashes leading all this forgetting nature's bounty bounty is as i told you valuable thing if the global bombing is going to rise it will destroy it will damage our nature it will uh, it will lead to the destruction of nature and you will forget the natural beauty all will be all the things will be converted into ashes ashes as you know it's a uh, ashes a burning thing which is of no use burnt thing ash okay so it will lead to burnt residue as i told you so i hope the poem is clear to you nature ifs and buts so what do you learn from this poem we should keep our nature clean and purified so that it will be able to provide us fresh air